this is a as i was already in a search of a trifocal lens which was working good for me i have found the iocare trifobic platform trifocal iol is one of the best i have evaluated this lens with a few parameters and i have found that this is very useful i'm just showing a pre recorded surgery just go through this hello friends welcome to shri netralay with the multifocal trifocal and a newer concept of id of iols in the present days now how you will identify which iol is working best for your patient and is giving a good region for all distances so in this video i am evaluating iol performance on basis of few parameters which you can evaluate in your clinic the first one is the defocus curve followed by mtf that is modular transfer function followed by contrast sensitivity point spread function glare and halos pupil dependency of iol and the iol tolerance for tilt and decentration so let's see a defocus curve defocus curve is a objective clinical measure of how well a iol is correcting press biopsia once the eye is quiet post surgery eye is corrected for residual refractive error and is subjected to lenses from plus 1 to minus 4 diopter with 0.5 increment and vision is noted for distance intermediate and near ideal and a graphical plot of this vision against the power is someone is seeing to a minus 1 lens that will be equivalent to a patient vision at 1 meter distance coming to the second point of mtf that is modular transfer function in simple language mtf is optical systems ability to reproduce the image of an object mtf is a mechanism to define resolution and contrast data into a single specification so mtf for clean air is one that is maximum and it can be derived from a point spread function and a line spread function so clinically mtf is important as low mtf value iols may have decreased contrast sensitivity coming to the third parameter that is contrast sensitivity it can be defined simply by averaging the differences of maximum and minimum intensity it can be tested using pelly robson's contrast sensitivity chart psf is blurring of an imaginary point as it passes through an optical system the mtf is a representation of psf in fourier space next important parameter is pupil dependency of Complex and photopic pupil size. Practically, larger pupils tolerate myopic defocus, while smaller pupils see better at distance when emetropia is achieved. All multifocal and trifocal iols are sensitive to decentration and tilt. Next important parameter is glare and halos, which is part and parcel of multifocal and trifocal iol designs. So, a trifocal iol has less amount of glare and halos. Now, let's see how the trifocal iol is designed. The concept of apodization means gradual transition of optical properties from center of the lens to the edge. Now, to apodize the surface. you have to reduce the height of each steps and this causes progressive shift of light energy split towards far foci when the pupil dilates now consider we have two apodized diffractive elements one for far and near the other for far and intermediate we will adjust the height of diffractive steps to split energy optimally between the near far and intermediate foci 
This is how a combined diffractive pattern will appear, which will have a near add of plus 3.5 and plus 1.75 combined. And you can notice the each step height is decreased towards these anodized surface. This is a diffractive optic design of a trifocal, trifocal IOL. When we do the energy scan for triphobic IOL, the light distribution is 50% for far, 30% for near, and 20% for intermediate. Total loss of light during dynamic energy transfer is less than 10%. The defocus curve is very promising. As you can see, there is not much of a dip in the center of the curve. The MTF values are also very good. It is 0.6 for far and 0.5 for near. The IOL will come with the actual power and the power map for distribution of power for distance and near. These parameters will help you to decide the precise power for your patient. The designs of IOL shown on a magnified view. Do subscribe to YouTube channel Dr. Pankaj Lande for more such exciting videos. Uh, thank you for your patience.